Hi there everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to put an XD90 connector like this one onto your LiPo battery. Now in this video I have a Dean's connector on this battery and I want to replace that so it's compatible with the rest of my RC products. Here's the stuff that you're going to need to do the soldering. You're going to need a soldering gun, you'll need some solder, I'll be using Miniatronics model number 10-640-04 rosin core high grade solder. I'm also going to be using some shrink tubing. I'll be using some flux, Kester 186 flux pen. You'll also need something to cut and strip your wires. A clamp or something to hold your bits and pieces in place while you're working. And then of course your batteries and some sort of heat gun, a Bic lighter, something to shrink the shrink wrap onto the wires when you're done. Now since I'm just soldering the connector onto the battery, I only need the male end of the connector. This is the male end. This is the female end. The female end is what comes off of my ESC. I won't be needing these for the demonstration, so I'm just going to place these two pieces off to the side. All right, now let me clean my workplace up a little bit and we'll get busy. All right, so first I'm going to need to remove my Dean's connector. I'll no longer be needing that. When you're cutting LiPo battery wires, cut just one wire at a time. If you try to cut both, there's a risk that you might cross the wires and short them out and you'll get some really loud and startling sparks if you do that. All right, next you'll want to strip off some of the insulation off the end of the wire. I'm using my 12 gauge stripper because this is 12 gauge wire. All right, next, I'm gonna take some of the shrink tubing. I'm gonna cut this down to about a centimeter and a half or so, about like that. Doesn't need to be exact. And I'm gonna slide those over my wire and down to the bottom as far away from the source of heat as possible, the heat that comes from the soldering. I don't want the shrink wrap to shrinking onto the wire prematurely. In just a moment, I'm also going to need to place this on here as well, this connector piece. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add some flux to my ends. The purpose of flux is to help the solder wick into the wire strands here. And the way this pen works, you just push down and paint it across. So push down, let it kind of soak in, get all the sides, just like so. Right. 
All right, now I'm going to place the base of my connector over the wires. And slide it all the way down. All right, now I'm going to pre prepare my connector with some flux. Just give it a quick poke and a wipe, just like so. Now it's time to use the soldering gun to uh, add some solder to my connector and then I'm going to do the same with the wires before I bring them together. So this connector is marked with a negative and a positive, so you'll want to make sure you're connecting your wires to the right side. Before you do so, make sure you tin your wires with some solder first. All right, now we're ready to connect the wires to the connector. So I like to put the soldering gun on the metal of the connector and get that heated up a little bit while at the same time, time trying to make some contact with the wire. The idea is to try to heat them up together as best as possible. allow that to cool for just a moment before I give it a tug. All right, that feels pretty good. Time for the other side. I think I got that pretty good. Yeah, that feels nice and secure. All right, so next I'm going to slide my heat shrink tubing through this base connector and then up over 
the ends that I just soldered. You gotta be careful that you don't try to slide the, sh the heat shrink tubing over the wire while it's still hot. Right now it's warm, but it's not hot, so I think I'm okay. Slide this all the way up like that. Then I'll give it a blast with my heat gun. And then finally I'll just slide the base of my connector up. It'll be a little bit tight here. I didn't quite solder those on quite straight. There we go. And snap it right into place. So there it is, XD90 connector added to your battery. Please take time to uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.